Well, welcome everybody to Model Mania Live. This is the unscripted, unpracticed, unprepared approach to the previous Model Mania challenges from SolidWorks World. We're doing this to prepare for SolidWorks World 2017 in LA, where they will once again hold the Model Mania competition. Today we're doing Model Mania 2011. So this is the second Model Mania challenge I've participated in at SolidWorks World. So I haven't won yet. Uh, looking at the drawing here, it looks very familiar. Um, I think I have a pretty good approach how to do this. And if I remember correctly, um, when I did this at SolidWorks World in 2011, I forgot the fillets or something on the inside, or I couldn't figure out the fillets. There was something tricky with the filleting here. And sure enough, you know, taking a look at this drawing, uh, looks like there are some corners that are coming into each other. We got to be aware of how we're doing that. 20 minutes on the timer, Model Mania 2011, here we go. Now let's change our units first, there we go. So let's go to the top plane. I'm just gonna draw a center line out in space. We have two circles here. Size of which are equal, the outside width there is 60, diameter of 40, they're both the same. So I can grab those two, make that coincidence. Oops, misclicked. Start and middle. Now those are the same, but we know that's tangent there, that's tangent there. Oh, come on, where was my tangency? There it is. And we have a size there of 40. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the smaller ones as well. Uh, those are 22. Anything else in this top shape? I don't think so. So we're extruding all of it up. How high are we going? 30? Apply these fillets to it of six. And then use that. So let's do our shell. Three. We can use that cut to do an extrude, but I want just those two. That gives us that. Let's go to the front plane then. Um, the inside one is 16, outside is 26. Well, we know that is lined up horizontal there. Can I say that that's We have a 13 offset from top. I'll do mid plane, a total of 40. We don't want to merge the result. And here's where I'm thinking we can do the intersect. So we do W intersect, that body, that body. And we want to, oops. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. We want to keep that, what's that one? I don't see it on the outside, so let's get rid of it. We want to keep that, keep that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ooh, it's not doing what I want. What? 
What is happening there? Is it doing what I want? Maybe intersect isn't. it is just curved off there so okay uh, intersect is not what I want here let's do something else let's offset this by the dimension of top 20 we're just gonna do up to next reverse oh, but we will need to cut that out so let's just yeah we're running out of time let's just mirror this Take that cut for an extrude cut. Selected contours is just that one. Through all both. I guess we could have, yeah, let's merge that then. Yeah, that looks better. So then what are we missing here? We just need some fillets, 40. Is it really 40? No, I'm looking at the wrong size. Three. So I think that's it. we doing on time 13 minutes we're in good shape I feel like I could have done that faster but I think that's it right oh material always forget the material double check those notes SI 1020 apply close uh, material is applied I think I'm looking good I mean we could do some section views here to take a peek there's that section it looks fine we go to the right that looks right. Okay, let's hit done and go to phase two. Um, oh, same notes there. We're gonna do simulation, record the factor of safety for the part. Okay. Fix those faces, apply loads there. Oh, interesting. Um, How do we want to do this? This one's tricky. All right, let's just start changing what we want to change. So we know these outsides are now 28. Oh, that's not right. Cancel, discard. So we want to cut this, I think. How are we going to cut it? And it is just a cut there. So let's just go to the front plane, sketch. of 70 so we can display as radius double click 70 let's do our tangents and we know that that is vertical we'll do an extrude cut flip side to cut through all both um, fill it fails but let's repair it Yes, I know. Same size, probably. I'm assuming so. We shelled it again. 
So that looks okay. But we have the center cut here. Do I just want to add geometry to that, you think? Do it before or after the shell? Does it matter? Let's do it before the shell. Alright. Delete that. Can't move it. That's concentric. Oops. Um, we have a height there of 30, so let's just extrude that up of offset. No, we can just go depth 30. Large fillets, go back to fillet the small ones here of three. Doesn't like it, does it? that ah there it picks it up so it's just some tangency issues no we only do one at a time what's wrong with that one going on. We'll have to come back to it. Work around it. Let's just mirror it. Will it shell? think we need that. We're missing some references there, but I don't think I care. Missing edges, fine. Okay, so I think that's it. How much time do we have? Six minutes? Wow, it felt like that took me forever. But I think we have it. If we look at the section, that looks okay. That right section looks fine. Wow, okay, so I think I got it. So let's do some Simulation Express. Add fixture, we are fixing the red faces, these guys. Add 
force there and there per item at three kilonewtons to each, so it's a total of six, so per item. Next, ASI, yep, run sim. Whew. Taking a bit longer to mesh there, and now it's solving. There's our results, yes. Minimum factor of safety 2.215, and that's what we need to record. So we don't need to record displacement this year, but there's our minimum factor of safety. I think that's our part. So let's hit our timer. All right. Well, we did it on time. Five minutes uh, left, so it took us about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, thinking back to some of these people that have done it before and have won Model Mania, they're doing it in better time. So hopefully we can get faster here. Uh, maybe we'll just get lucky and it'll just kind of come right to us and we'll be able to just flow through it. No issues. That's kind of what you're hoping for. So it's a little bit of luck on what you get and if your brain's working exactly how it needs to be that day. So if you're fueled just right, um, hopefully that'll give us what we need to um, accomplish and win Model Mania. All right, so after taking a look at the drawing here, I actually made a mistake. Um, took a look back through the drawing, took a look at the SolidWorks Solution video, and I don't know if you guys picked this up, but I have these fillets on the inside. Those are not supposed to be there. So it would really have to be some reordering of the features here. So let's kind of take a look and see what we can do. are there, there, and ha, <laughs> no way, yep, so that looks better, this is the correct part, here we go, express, simulation express, uh, let's continue, 2.76 is the number that we're looking for, yep, there we go, All right, so a couple lessons learned here, right? In the model, needed to take a closer look at the section views because I had these edges filleted in there and they were not supposed to be. So some order operations um, were necessary, reordering our features, but there we go. So those are the, the different way that you can build that part. Hopefully this helps you. And again, we'll see you on stage.